Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God, ladies and gentlemen. That one little post that I just done there about the fruits of your labor, that comes from not pride, not a sense of thinking that I'm better than the next man, but that comes from wholeheartedly being obedient and being a servant of the Father to the utmost without having man to make you or draw you to what he asks you to do, but having the boldness and the sense of love for others to want to be able to do for them without a shadow of a doubt. And that's some things that we got to learn to have a clear understanding about where our help comes from. And our help comes from the Lord, which made these heavens and this earth that we stand on. And we must continue to be able to strive for the kingdom every day. That's why the Lord says, I judge you according to your works, according to the things you do, according to the way you treat his children, according to the way that you react on this planet that we live on, that sometimes we take these temporary things in this world for granted. What well, I'm here to tell you that you must continue to strive and never forget about the ones that forget about themselves. Never forget about the people that are going through their hardships. God bless you, Brandon, man. I haven't heard from you in a while, man. I pray all is well, bro. Uh, never forget about the ones that are going through their trials and tribulations because we are in a time where you must continue to keep pushing forward regardless of whatever it may be going on in your little world or regardless of what may be going on in your life. You remember that God is number one over everything and Jesus Christ still saves the ones that are innocent. He still saves the lame. He still will heal the sick. He still will heal the ones that have not been able to seek his face in this hour. So that video that I just posted for when I said the fruits of your labor, that was just showing, putting forth the work that God asks us to do on a day-to-day -day basis for the ones that don't have it, for the ones that are still striving, for the ones that are still seeking the Lord in this hour, for the ones that don't have anything, we got to continue to be able to teach them about the God's holy word and continue to keep striving for the kingdom because there's so many things going on in this world that we forget about the little things. And the little thing is helping the ones that need help Helping the ones that want to be able to see God's face in this hour. Teaching your children. Teaching the ones that are lost. Continue to keep striving for the kingdom of God in this hour, ladies and gentlemen. But again, do not forget where your for, do not forget about where your help comes from. And your help does come from the Lord. Amen. So I leave you with a good prayer of encouragement. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for the humblest manner we know how, Lord. Just to say thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for the ones that are here at this present moment and the ones that may hear this message later on down the road. Continue to keep them uplifted in your word. Continue to keep them striving for your kingdom. Continue to keep them moving with a mindset of integrity, a mindset of, of peace and tranquility in this hour. Keep them humble, Lord. Keep them guided un underneath your bosom, Lord. Continue to keep us hidden behind your cross in this evil world, but we know that we have the victory in you, which is Christ Jesus, your son, Yeshua, Yahweh, that came down here and sacrificed himself for our transgressions and for our sins. But we know if we continue to keep striving for your kingdom, we will reach those pearly gates. But you say broad is the way and narrow is the gate. So that means we must endure to the end. You say he who endures to the end will have everlasting life. And I believe that and I know that. So I strive for that every day. And I pray others do the same as well. God bless you guys and continue to keep pressing forth in this hour. Amen. Shalom.